friends. Welcome to day number 14 of Pilates um, workouts with Bridget. Um, today we're going to look at maintaining healthy hips. Um, we will do advanced Pilates tomorrow for day 15. So let's get started. So sitting down, lying on your back. So gently roll yourself down and then just hug the knees in towards the chest. And we're just going to start by interlacing one hand, both hands, just below the knee. Slide the other leg along the floor. Flexing that foot and just gently start with some ankle circles. And just allow that lower back to sink down. Shoulders drawing down away from the ears. And now take the knee out to the side, out and up. And now bring the leg back to the centre, taking the leg across the body. Other arm extended out to the side, shoulder blade stable and down. And just feel that lateral movement. This is your opportunity to bring your awareness to the breath. So take a breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can twist, not forcing, just softening into that rotation. One more. And now from here, come back to the centre. Still interlace the hands, this time behind the thigh. Extend the leg for a nice stretch of your hamstrings. Like we did yesterday, pointing and flexing the foot. Draw the knee back in towards the chest and then change sides. Just check the leg's gone in a straight line. It hasn't gone off to the side. Um, if you've got knee injuries, interlace the hands behind the thigh and now circle the leg. Or not circle the leg, circle the ankle. And now go the other way. And I should be saying, Happy Easter. Hope everyone's having a lovely day with their families in their little bubbles at home. And maybe doing some cool Easter activities. Now extend the leg out to the side, out and up. And just breathe. You may want to breathe deeply into the diaphragm. Now this time... Take a big breath in through the nose. As we exhale, bring the leg back through the midline, taking the leg across, and that hip will come off. Breathe in, pause, and then exhale, rotate. Turn that head to the opposite side. Big breath in, breathe out, come back to the centre. Interlace the hands behind the thigh. Extend that leg up towards the ceiling, this time pointing and flexing the foot. Warming up your hamstrings, bend the knee down, back in towards the chest, bend the legs again, returning your feet back to the floor. And now from here, we're going to just lift one leg up, so the knee is over the hip, and we're going to circle the hip joint um, within the hip socket. And this is like, imagine your hip to be like a bowl, and your thigh bone is like a is like a spoon and you're stirring that hip joint. Now reverse the action. You can incorporate your breath. So inhale and exhale. Just do two more. And now lower the leg back to the floor. Lift the other leg up. And now we go inward. So it's almost like a little dinner plate size circle you're doing with the leg. The aim is to keep your pelvis still as you move the leg around. Now go the other way. Such a beautiful day today. It's amazing how the sun makes you feel by getting outside and enjoying the beautiful weather. And now return the leg back down. As we did yesterday, we did a little bit of um, leg work. So you're going to start with the leg at 45 degrees, keeping your hands on the hips. You're going to bend, extend, flex and lower. So breathing in, breathing out. And we want to aim to keep what we um, 
referred to as neutral spine, which is a natural curvature of that lower back. Just do one more for me. You can also do this in turn out, but today we're just keeping it in parallel. Now extend the other leg up, flex and lower. Breathing in and breathing out. If you want a harder option, you can extend that leg along the ground. But if your hamstrings are quite tight, keep that supportive leg bent. Give me two more. And then one more. Now return the feet back to the floor. Give those thighs a bit of a shimmy, a bit of a shake to allow the muscles just to relax, to switch them off. Now place your hands down by your side. We take a breath in, breathe out. We imprint that lower back, ground through the feet, lift the hips. Feeling that work in the back body, we're going to do your knee folds now. So we're going to lift and lower. Like we were doing before, keeping your pelvis still as we lift the legs up and down. Inhale, exhale. 10 to one side for one, two, three, four, five more, and four, three, two, one. Return the leg back down. How your hips, how your shoulders. Lift and lower. 10. Five, four, three, for two, and one. Feel a little bit of a burn into that back body. We extend the leg up, flex, and lower. Kind of similar to your devla pace we did before, but this is what we call shoulder bridge. Two more, and one more. Return the leg back down, re-level out the hips, extend the leg up and lower. Lift and lower. Three more. And two. And one. Kick it up. Return the leg back down, reach your hands down towards the heels, roll down. Lift your legs, give yourself some love. Return the feet back to the floor. Allow the knees to twist one side. Come back to the centre, twist them to the other side. Re-centre. Now this time we cross the legs, the knees kiss. I call this the 1950 secretary. Bring the legs towards me. With your hand, lightly place it on the knee, turning the head to the opposite side. And you'll get a stretch down the outside of the glute, down the outside of the leg. Come back to the centre and cross and change sides. Take a breath in, breathe out, twist. Allow your rib cage to be soft. Draw that shoulder down. So we're just allowing all that fascia to lengthen naturally. To open you up. Feels good. Come back to the centre. Draw your knees in towards the chest. Rock and roll. Just go two more. And then one more. That's it. Come in to lie on your front. Right, you're going to lift one leg up and lower. I'll move forward so you can see my toes. So lightly imprint your pivot bone. And we're going to lift one leg using your glute and hamstring. So we're elongating through that hip and quad. Lower the leg down. Lift the other leg up. And now lower, lift both legs up. Not long, sorry, think long opposed to high. Lift, lift, lift. And lower down. So inhale, lift one leg, lower down. Lift the other leg. So we're elongating through 
um, the hips now. Now lift both legs up, squeeze the back body, come down. Now lift up, come into the little cobra position. Lift one leg up and lower. Lift the other leg up, come down. Now lift both legs up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's juicy time. That's it. Squeeze and lower down. Now lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now allow both legs to lift up. Come down. Return the head back down. Roll your hips side to side. Now we do a little starfish. So we're going to lift opposite arm and leg. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting and lowering. Now lift both and swim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hold. Up, 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 up. And lower. Whew. Roll your hips side to side. Come down onto your forearm. Straighten one leg. Straighten the other. Hold and breathe. Plank. So we're opening up through the front body, strengthening into the back body, feeling our core working, holding and breathing. You can lift one leg up, lower it down like we did before doing the stand, lift the other leg up, come down, keep going, up and down, up and down and lengthen, good, lift. And lengthen, rock forward and back. Drop your knees. Bring your knees underneath you, feet together, knees apart and open. Breathe. Come up to a kneeling position and come down. And now Finding ourselves just settling down, rolling down onto our buttocks. Now we're going to cross one foot over the opposite leg. You're going to open up through the chest, shine your heart forward, come forward. Feeling a gentle stretch in the spent leg. If you can't do this, you could have your feet like so, holding and breathing. And smiling. How does that feel? And now slowly come back up. And now we change sides. Tuck that foot, flex that foot, come forward. Remember, if that feels uncomfortable, you can come here. back up. Now just come up onto your knees. My head gets cut off. So just bring one foot forward. Come forward. Lunge straight forward. Apologies for having my head cut off. But this is a really lovely um, hip opener. So when we do this one you want to be at 90 degrees. Hip square. Shine your hearts forward. And now from here, we're going to put the weight onto that back leg, pull back and flex that leg. Your hands may be here. You may need some uh, pillows or blocks for support. Just go where it feels most comfortable for you. And now we're going to change sides. So 99 with the legs tall through the spine. Now come forward. And just hold and breathe. Knowledge your hips should be nice and square. Now we're going to go back, runners, hamstring stretch, square up your hips, lift up through that middle, hold and breathe. And now come down to face me. Well done, guys. Place your hands just gently on the um, knees, you may like to sit in a chair, just taking a few moments to check in, closing our eyes. 
Bring your awareness to your ears. Feel your ears over your shoulders. And allow your shoulders to melt down into your back. Your shoulders are over your hips. Imaginary string is drawing you up. Your jaw is soft. Your teeth slightly apart. The tongue is wide in the base of the mouth. Give me three big belly breaths. So breathing in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth slowly. For two more. Breathing in deeply. Breathing out fully. Last time through. Finding that inner stillness, inner peace. Your hips should feel nice and warm and well loved. Flush your eyelashes, bringing yourself back. Place your hands together. Sending yourself a little bit of love, a little bit of gratitude, a little bit of peace. Have a good day. Um, take care and again, happy Easter over this period. Stay home, kia kaha, look after one another and we'll see you tomorrow for day number 15 uh, for some advanced Pilates. Take care.